Welcome to the e-licensing video tutorials. How to submit a protest. You may receive a letter similar to this one, noting an opportunity to protest. For this test scenario, we're showing you the protest of an additional line. When you scroll down the letter and look at the bottom of page one, there's some information about how to file a protest. The protest must be filed online using the e-licensing system. It also tells you to log into e-licensing, click on protest and complaints button, and follow the screens. So we're going to go look at that now. When you've logged in, the system will take you to the welcome screen. Scroll down and find the protest and complaints section and click the apply button. Select your organization. Click Save and Next. Select the license that applies to this protest. In this case, I only have one to choose from. Save and Next. The next page is your contact information. Update it as needed. When it's correct, click Save and Next. On the protest selection page, the question is, are you waiving your right to protest? You have two choices, yes and no. If you select yes, you're done with your protest. If you select no, select the protest description that applies to your situation and click Save and Next. Select the dealer application which you are protesting. In this case, I only have one. Indicate the line mate which you are protesting. This is specific to our scenario. You may have other questions for your scenario if it's a different type of protest. The next page gives you two options to provide your notice of protest. You may enter it into the box or choose to upload it as an attachment. For this example, we'll go ahead and upload it. Click Save and Next. On our attachment screen, here is our notice of protest. Select Choose File and find your documentation. This first button is an undo button. That's only if you grab the wrong document. There will be an upload button at the bottom of the screen. Next, choose your protest exhibits. And finally, choose your notice of appearance of representation. Upload the initial attachments first and any additional attachments separately. Your first set of attachments will show up as blue hyperlinks that you can view by clicking on them. If you decide you have the wrong document or want to change something, click the trash can. The document will go away and you can upload it again. If you have additional documents to attach, at the bottom, click on Add More Attachments. The screen will refresh and provide you a box that you may select your additional attachments. Find the file you need, give it a name, and then click Upload. The screen will refresh again, and you can scroll down and see your attachment is here. When you're ready to continue, click Save and Next. Next is your summary page. The summary is a recap of all the information you provided. Scroll down, check that everything is correct as you like it. Notice your attachments are here if you want to view them again. After viewing your summary, click Save and Next. On the next page, you have the choice to e-sign your application, which is an electronic signature, or you can do it the old-fashioned paper way.
Here's how you set for which one. If you want to e-sign, you set the driver's license for Texas. You must have a Texas driver's license and a social security number. You fill out all these information boxes that are here and you can e-sign. If you prefer to do paper or you don't have some of this information, click Other for your state, scroll down, and here's your Certificate of Responsibility. Click it, it'll open in a new window, print it, sign it, scan it, or take a picture of it, upload it, then come back here and find your file. Keep in mind this first button is undo, the upload button is in blue below that space. Your window will refresh, scroll down again, then you can see your attached file on the right hand side. The blue link means you can check it, you can open it and look at it, make sure you got the right one. If you decide it's the wrong one, click the trash can, it'll go away, and then you can come back and upload a new file. When you're ready, click Save and Next. Here's a reminder, make sure you have read the terms and conditions carefully before proceeding. Those terms and conditions are the ones in the Certificate of Responsibility. When you're ready, click Proceed to Payment. On the Payment Summary page, you'll notice that you have the option to add additional applications. Select any applications you wish to pay for at this time, or if you want to file additional applications, select the Add Application button. When you scroll down, you'll notice you have two choices for payment, credit card and an ACH or an e-check. Credit card adds a percentage to your total fee, and an e-check adds a flat 25 cents. For this demonstration, we're going to use an e-check. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the Proceed to Pay button to continue. On the first payment screen, there's a checkbox to note if you have a foreign source, also known as an IAT. In the Customer Information section, complete your information. and then click Next. The next page is your account information. Enter all the fields required and click Next. Enter your account number. Enter your account number a second time. match, indicate if it is checking or savings, and click Next. Read over the terms and conditions, and confirm yes that you authorize the transaction. If you need to change anything, there is an edit button here. Scroll down to your verification section. Complete the verification information by copying the letters and text from the box into the space below. This confirms that you are a human being and not a robot. Move on to submit payment. Please be patient while your payment is being processed. It doesn't take too long. It's already redirecting us back faster than I can even talk. You're taken back to the payment summary page. When you scroll down, there will be a notice that your payment is successful and select Next to continue. Finally, you are brought to the page that says your application has been submitted and your payment was successfully applied. If you would like to see your summary again, you may click on the blue hyperlink to view that summary. There's also a, re there's also a receipt that will now show up on your summary page. And if you're done, select Go to Home. That is how we file a protest.